Hey guys, welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh huh. Damn, Crocodile Dundee is getting mm. thick. Meh. Oh yeah. Wrong, <laughs> <laughs> wrong controller. Oops. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Okay. Elephanto. Yeah, dude. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled oh. with expensive looking books. Hmm. Funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. Oh. Eh. A table for clients. Huh? Now we've got an ebony case. If I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. He mm -hmm. really likes ebony. Like, the fuck? Mm -hmm. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. And leave. Yeah. Detention center. Detention. We were just there. Yeah. Wow. You go back because you couldn't find them. All right. Hey. What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this lawyer she's talking about. Nope. Okay. Get her. Never mind. All right. Go back to the place. Eh. Eh. September 6th, Finn, call of law offices. Thank you. The office is filled with police posters. Officers. <laughs> 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 I'm on the wall, see? <laughs> Just put me up. <laughs> and it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tips, Judge. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. No trespassing. No <laughs> trespassing. <laughs> Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. All good, fam. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Detective Switch. <laughs> so, what's your answer? Switchu. Gumshoe. Switchu. Gumshoe. Alright. Uh, suede shoes, wasn't it? That's, that's me. me. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. Wait, that's a song, pal. <laughs> my name's Dick Gumshoe. Wait. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Ah. Yes, sir. Be right there. Um. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Ooh, he thinks I'm by his lawyer. Talk. <laughs> About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm. You want to know the results, eh? Results? Air results, eh? <laughs> now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Well, I really need to really bribe him for that shit. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? 
The city's put. Per, per, <laughs> you okay over there? You got it? <coughs> ah, I gotta stop eating these chips. <laughs> <laughs> the city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Also, apologies to anyone who is hearing slight rustling. I had to lay down because I couldn't sit up anymore. My back started to hurt, so I have to hold the... Well, sit straight up. Dude. <laughs> you're about to fall back. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm balanced. Prosecutor yeah. Edgeworth. <clears throat> oh, I dropped the microphone. That's right, pal. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped your water. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor, and he doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. Whoa. He can't even feel his own toes! <laughs> hey, right back. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, <sighs> uh, don't talk about him that way. You make him sound barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth, Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Alright. We wanna present anything? Uh, your badge. Alright. I'm an attorney. Hey, look at me, I'm an attorney. Hmm, what's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you sometimes you can like I, I don't know if it's in this one but dual destiny is like you present uh, your attorney badge to him he says I don't care I only care about the, the uh, trial on hand but it is pretty shiny though or something like that I don't think we really need to report anything to him he'll yeah present. he'll probably say the same thing again anyway yeah yeah and back to Grossberg. Yeah. We can do that. Nope. <laughs> Fane Kip. Uh oh. Yeah, That's we... where we just were. Shut up. Hello. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. I don't know where my mom is. Dead. <laughs> She's just like, like, Phoenix is just like, no, that's the guard in the back. I don't know where my mom is. <laughs> Probably dead. <laughs> Probably dead. Thanks for the chips, Judge. <laughs> but I can't stop, I gotta stop eating them, I'm choking. I don't know, so she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. But 15 years ago, I was injected with ESP. A very, very, very dangerous drug that if handled, uh, if, if used in the wrong hands, Those can be chips very are lethal. not very healthy, but I like them. <laughs> just fucking, <laughs> he just walks up to Phoenix, whispers in his ear. I like chops. They're not very healthy. <laughs> Just while well, she's trying to sit there and talk about her family. Like, oh, God. <laughs> she's just so fucking serious and sad. And the judge just walks <laughs> up. <laughs> fully dressed, by the way. Like, fully dressed in his, like, attire for, yeah, like, like always. everything. He's gotta be ready to be <laughs> a judge. just, like, whispers. 
I don't I like these chips, but they're not very healthy. <laughs> well, she's just sitting No, there. that's the wrong wording, dude. Well, she's just pouring out this monologue. <laughs> these chips are not very healthy, but I like them. <laughs> just fucking whispers into his ear and then stares her dead in the face. Bet you wish you could have some chips, don't you? <laughs> so what's up? <laughs> what's up, Doc? <laughs> Woo! I'm trying to recover from laughing so much. Focus. <laughs> focus. You gotta be Larry. Larry's the one who tells Nick to focus. Focus, Nick. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> woo! Woo! <laughs> I like chips too, Judge. Right. We'll continue this next. Or, you know, let's finish this. Our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that. My sister announced she would become a lawyer and left and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also I had to become independent or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So, who is this man who um ruined your mother? Well, when you put it like that, it does seem like... Oh, shit. Her mother got pregnant. Duh. With them. They were also mistakes that ruined her. <laughs> twist. <laughs> what was that robot chicken thing? He said twist. I don't know. Oh, my God. It was like... The, like it was like plot twists. Like... It was like trans. Uh, 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 the episode's over. I'm gonna finish talking about this, and then we're ending it. Get dapper. <laughs> that wasn't even words. So. Hey, see you guys next time. Anyway, I got a robot chicken. It was like this little tiny skit thing where it was just like, oh, there was like alien and predator, but then somehow Optimus Prime showed up and blah blah blah, and it was like, what a twist. That's what it was. It was what a twist. What a twist. There you go.